Hello everyone, I'm Lawrence from Unicorn Reviews. This is the Sharkoon CA-I aluminium computer case. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and you can also leave a like behind because it really helps out a lot. Now, most of you may know Sharkoon from the guys who make budget-friendly plasticky cases, always a bit gamerish. Uh, they look a bit silly in my opinion on most occasions, but this one, uh, the CA-I, uh, there's also a micro ATX version and a full ATX version, they're just a bit taller. Um, this one is fully made out of aluminium and not just like with the Rajintech Metis, which is about the same price also ITX. Uh, that one also only has a massively thick front panel and everything else is just a bit thin steel. Uh, this is full aluminium, it's nice and thick all around and it really feels very nice. Uh, now, I can't remember all these dimensions, um, but that's why I'm going to read it from the box. Uh, so it's a mini ITX case, it's uh, 213 millimeters uh, long, it is 225 millimeters wide and 259 millimeters high. Um, so basically if you want to put graphics cards in, you have to keep that in mind. We have a maximum length for graphics cards of 20.7 centimeters. Uh, your CPU cooler can be 10.5 centimeters high and power supplies can be 18 centimeters tall. Uh, so keep that in mind when specking stuff for this because it is a fairly small case as we'll see later. Um, there's room for one hard drive and an SSD or just two SSDs in the bottom. And uh, that's pretty much it for this box. So if you pick it up in a store, this is what the book box looks like, but no one ever buys cases in a store anymore these days. All right, so the case comes in this lovely soft foam and I wish every case maker ever made all their packaging from soft foam. It's so much nicer It's this, oh, I love this sort of foam. Way better than the, the normal styrofoam the usual guys include. But there she is. Um, if the table is a bit blown out, uh, that's the only way to do it really because it's a black case. Uh, now what you can see is this lovely, really, really lovely brushed aluminum all around. So the front, the top, the sides, the back, all of that lovely brushed aluminum. And also really, really nice feature in my opinion is this top panel. Uh, there is a fan in there, it's actually this fan. Now. It's a quite weird thing because it's, as you can see, it's only 20 millimeters. Well, you can't really see the exact thickness of it, but it's not a full thickness fan. Uh, full thickness fans do fit in there, and this one has a Molex true and a uh, tree pin for your fan stuff. That's all really nice, but there are no um, screw holes there. So that's, I just love that sort of stuff. It just makes everything look a lot cleaner. Now we have two USB 3.0s here. Uh, the connector on the inside is either the normal 3.0 connector and there's also a little break off to a 2.0 connector because the board in this PC doesn't actually have onboard, tree, uh, onboard USB 3.0. So that's all really nice. Uh, on this side, we have a power button. Uh, there's no reset button and the light around it is also a hard drive activity light. There's just a little red light on the side. Um, below that, and I really don't want to touch it with my hands too much, um, but we have two USB 2s and a microphone in and an audio out cable right there. Also a little Sharkoon logo there. Um, as you can see, it's all incredibly clean. Now on this side, we have the motherboard uh, mounting. Um, so there's nothing there. Now on the other side though, that's where we have our power supply intake. Um, so the power supply has, has its own in and out of air. You know, it doesn't heat up everything else. In my opinion, in my case, I uh, took the top fan out and put the power supply the wrong way around. Uh, so that the power supply just takes away all the heat because we are running an AM1 system which doesn't really need that much cooling anyway. Now moving around to the back, uh, we just have our I.O. here. A lot of ventilation so you can actually put 10 centimeter high CPU coolers in there, really nice. Um, breakouts for COM ports, uh, two little holes here for I guess putting Wi-Fi antennas in. I, I just really like how they told of everything and you guys may not really be able to see it from where you are behind your PC, but when you're here, uh, you can see that this aluminium, it's all brushed, it's all very thick all around. I really like that. Um, PCI slots, you have two of them, but there is some extra room there um, because it, your graphics card needs to breathe. So again, unlike the Metis from Rajintech, your graphics card can actually breathe in this thing. Uh, there's also room here for a 60 millimeter fan. Now, let's move to the bottom. I really don't want to scratch it, but um, this is where you can put two SSDs or one hard drive and an SSD. So that's how it works, only two drives. Uh, we get these feet, they're nice and shiny feet, uh, and it's this soft foam. It's not like rubbery, it's just a soft foam once again, really nice. 
Apparently I also forgot to put a screw back in, but we're going to take the case apart now so I can show you guys what it's like on the inside. All right, so I'm going to start with taking this panel off because it reveals absolutely nothing. So there are four screws. Uh, I already undid the two on the side and the one on the back, so I only have to undo the lower one. Um, as you can see, really nice and thick aluminum. Uh, there is obviously flex to a panel like that, but it's nothing um, too drastic. Um, so as you can see, I have the power supply here. There is room for your cables to stash them away. Um, but what I'm going to do is now remove the last um, screw from the top panel and that actually does reveal reveal a few things so it just lifts off like that and again really nice really thick panels now this is what it reveals it has this sadly i guess it's not black um, you, you can't see it from the outside and there are no windows so i get it but yeah um, so this is where your fan mounts to this is also where the usb3 mounts to all very nice stuff so the bottom of the case for now, um, this is where the 60 millimeter fan can go, but you shouldn't use one of those. Um, so as you can see, I just use this one for cable stashing because cable management, of course, is very tricky because there are no um, hidden bits uh, to stash cables in. Um, also, as you can see, power supply cables will have to be very um, thin if you put the hard drives or SSDs right on the floor. Charcoon does include rubber washers, so you should probably use them. Uh, I only saw that it included that when I was done with the build, uh, which is why they're not there. But you might want to make sure you have the right SATA cables and SATA power cables there. Now, there is room for a triple slot graphics card, but you can only use double slot graphics cards. So there is still some room below for hard drives, SSDs, and some airflow as well, because the entire bottom is vented as you saw earlier. So then, it's conclusion time already because obviously with a very simple case like this one, uh, there's not much to say. There are an awful lot of features except for insane build quality, great pricing as well. And just the fact that everything looks good and is usable. Um, and it is one of those very niche cases. Um, so some of the negatives I could normally come up with, um, like hard drive room and stuff like that, um, they're, they're not a valid point with this particular case because it's not intended for it. Um, and so the only negative I can really say about it is the fact that it does pick up fingerprints rather, uh, rather quickly. So maybe they should find some sort of coating um, to not make it such a fingerprint magnet. Um, but if you wear gloves or just keep your hands really clean during the build and you're quite attentive to not touching it with your hands and hugging it like that, um, it should all be really cool. And now after me doing this video, I'm going to clean it up and it will be just as new. Uh, again and everything will look very beautiful again. Um, so that was pretty much my review of the Sharkoon CA-I. Um, for those wondering what it's like with the MATX and the ATX versions, they're identical, they're just a bit taller and you get more PCI slots. They're also slightly more expensive but in a case of this budget, of this price range, it's you know great, uh, especially when you take build quality into consideration. Anyway guys, if you like the video, press the like button. If you dislike the video, press the dislike button. You can leave a comment behind. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, also on Patreon. Uh, that one really helps out a lot with getting me better gear and lights and lenses and cameras and audio systems, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.